Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to showcase their custom visual known as the Hourglass Chart by MAQ Software. Now, this fantastic visual is going to allow us to effectively leverage a couple of categories and have them either side by side or on top of each other, as we'll see, and they'll be linked together via a conversion. This is going to allow us to monitor or view the difference either via percentage or by difference. But we can look at those categories in their own individual areas and we can see from a percentage perspective how much they're acquiring, how much they're taking up, and getting an understanding as a picture of a whole and also being able to compare it to a second category. And there's also quite a few fantastic features that we can leverage when we are customizing our hourglass chart by MAQ software. So let's head right over to Power BI and explore this fantastic custom visual. So as we can see here in our example with, for the hourglass chart from MAQ software, we have the example of leveraging the number of scheduled flights as one of our categories and the number of delayed flights for that. And they're going to be grouped together by specific airline. In this case, we're just calling it airport C, airport B, and A. So if we look here and select the visual itself, we can see as far as areas that we can map for the visual, we have category, source, destination, and of course, always the tooltip. Now, category, source, and destination are all mandatory fields. As you can see, this is what we're allowing us to do the grouping here, the category by the flight itself. That's going to be the C, A, and the B. And then we have the top item. This is flight scheduled for this category, and then flight delayed. And what we can see as we evaluate this is for flight scheduled, if we look at this piece by piece, this is showing the percentage. So 63% of all flights scheduled are being done through airport C, 25, and 13. And then if we look at flight delayed, we can see 42% of delayed flights are coming from flight C and then A and B accordingly, right? In the center, this is where we have our conversion. This is what connects the two here. Between the two, there are 10,000 total flights scheduled for airport C and 25% of them, or as we can see, 2,500 of them are delayed. And we can see and we can modify how this presents itself. Right now we're showing this conversion as a percentage. We can change that. And we can see there's multiple options for us as we go through the formatting area. So as we locate this here, we can see we can dictate the specific colors for our respective categories, right? So that's going to be the value that we put here at the very top. We as well can turn on gradient. This is going to be for coloring within each respective area. So you can turn this on and you can specify some items here, but it's going to move from that darker shade to that lighter shade just for visualization purposes. Nothing too crazy here. As far as category, this does gives us the capability of turning on or off the actual category labels themselves. So if we expand this, we can get the full name of this. Let's just do that real quick so you can see this a little bit better. All right, category label. Of course, in control of color, fonts family, font size, as you would expect. The data label is the same item. This is going to remove the top and the bottom in this scenario's orientation of the data labels themselves. And we, of course, can control the color, display units, as well as size and decimal points. Now, something in addition, just in case, depending on the colors we choose, we could add a separator here. Now, you can see by default, it's going to use a stroke width of four and the line style line type as dashed we can control this if you just want to have a little more specificity between each of these categories that we have selected. Now we also have the capability of controlling whether we want to see a percentage or a difference for the conversion knot. Now as you can see, I've simply you can give a label to this which will be dictated here on the left hand side in the current orientation, but you can specify which you would like. So the difference between the top and the bottom 7500 or 25%, depending on how we want to illustrate this. As well, we have the capability of rotating the actual categories. So we can see we're moving from vertical to horizontal here. We're just switching and flipping it over on its side, where now my categories are on the X axis, but they're at the top of the screen. And we're going to see orientation can have an impact here. And then my Y axis effectively is going to be the values. So we can switch and rotate that from being horizontal, from vertical to horizontal. Default is here is the vertical, but we also will skip animation for a second and have the capability of switching the orientation. So within the actual rotation, so here it's vertical, but we can see rather than having our blades go out vertically, now it's looking at everything horizontally, but keeping the rotation the same 
for the actual fields themselves. So you can do quite a lot here. If we were to rotate this and switch the orientation, you can see the difference there, right? So very interesting, the options. And lastly, of course, other than all the many default capabilities we would want to know, we know and expect to have there, you know, title, backgrounds, borders, all those fun things, we have this capability of turning on animation. And what this does is as a user hovers over a specific blade or a piece of this hourglass chart, you can see it animates slightly, just kind of popping a little bit out of place, just to give it a little extra flavoring, a little extra excitement in our visual itself. So hopefully you enjoyed that hourglass chart by MAQ Software, and thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at Pragmatic Works by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com.